Ahoy there, C Brownie here coming at you with another Genshin Impact video. Now as you can see, I finally finished completing my setup. I, uh, I finally got uh, the green blanket and uh, now I have, you know, I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, I don't think there's too much missing in terms of detail in my hair or anything, so the green screen is definitely working well. And, uh, and yeah, it's so exciting. I can actually record this live and I have this green screen in the background. Don't and, we have a job to do? Uh, I can see it in live time of, like, the game actually behind me. So that's really, really cool. But other than that, uh, once again, I am behind on my events and I believe I need to do this one here to fight Ajdaha, which it is 2 a.m. currently, uh, where I'm from, so yeah. Also doesn't help that I've been having a lot of pain in one of my sides. It got to the point where uh, I made an appointment with my doctor that should be tomorrow, so hopefully it's, it's nothing big, but it's a little bothersome, and for some reason when that pain started, my eye has uncontrollably started twitching, so that is... Ugh, so uncomfortable. But hey, let's uh, let's bang out some of these missions. Uh, I also wanted to get my house started a while ago, but I didn't want to continue that without uh, you mateys in on the ride. So, uh, so I guess I'm behind on that too. So let's figure everything out. Uh, let's try to get Ajdaha first. So let's jump right into it. Hi Catherine, it's us! Any new commissions? As a matter of fact, there's one that looks perfect for you two. Uncle Dai is one of the foremen at Huishan Hall over in Liyue Harbor. He's hoping the Adventurers Guild can spare some manpower. What is it we have to do exactly? I believe you'll be looking for workers. Ooh, looking for people? Awesome, we're good at that! I have no reason to doubt your abilities. I'm sure the details can be worked out face to face. If you're willing to accept this commission, Head over to the dock and talk to Uncle Dai. Uncle Abadie, Abadai. I think this mission might actually be to start the housing, but whatever the mission, uh, I need to get both done, so <laughs> we'll find out if, uh, if I made the right choice here. Hey, are you Uncle Dai? I am indeed. Ah, now then, you must be the adventurers assigned by the guild. Huh? <laughs> By the clothes on your back and the look on your face. Experienced adventurers at that, I'll wager. Right again? You're pretty perceptive. <laughs> In this trade, you need a sharp eye for people, not just rocks. Uncle Dai can see what you're made of from a long way off. Rocks. All right. My assistant should be arriving soon, so let's just wait here a moment. Whoa, whoa. That's why we're here. Now there's someone else taking it. Well, to tell you the truth, this is a very difficult matter. Too much for adventurers alone to handle life here. Hmm, so there is someone else! Do you think we're not up to the job? Ooh, he cheated. Steady pot. It just Steady. occurred to me that you don't Steady have girl. all the facts. The incident in question happened in a mine, and it's a little out of the ordinary, to say the least. Mines are dangerous places, as I'm sure you're aware. As such, I've enlisted an industry expert to cover all contingencies. Last time I checked, adventurers weren't experts in ore appraisal or geological analysis. With a professional by your side, everything should run smoothly. Besides, this guy's the best in his field. No matter the rock, he'll tell you its value to the nearest mora at a glance. I'd go as far to say that there's not a soul in Tevat that knows rocks better than him. I'd be a fool to not enlist an expert of his caliber. You're a fool if you think you found Tevet's number one rock expert. Oh? And why might that be? Because Tevet's number one rock expert happens to be a friend of ours. Uh, Zhongli? I think it's Zhongli. Uh -huh. Didn't expect that, did you? Either that or I'll be here. We'll go fetch him. I know that Zhongli is listening to the storyteller. Let's head over. <laughs> Zhongli just sits there listening to stories about himself. No one realizing that he was the god, and now he just works as like the... I don't know, he works in the funeral parlor with Hu Tao. 
but I'm not sure what his job is. I think he just knows stuff and organizes things. Hu Tao is in charge of recruitment, which at a funeral parlor, you probably shouldn't be in charge of recruitment. I feel like that should happen naturally. In our last tale, Rex Lapis. Chun-Li, there you are! Oh, here for a few tales. I didn't know you two were connoisseurs. <laughs> oh, no, no, we're here for you. Um, do you have time? Ah, something I'm rarely short of. We have a special task. We need someone who understands geology and ore. Hmm, someone who understands geology and ore. Uh, or what? Take a look around. Is there anyone in Tavat more qualified? The requester claims to have enlisted Tavat's number one rock expert. But Paimon doesn't believe a word of it. Nobody understands rocks better than you. <laughs> you appear to have taken his claim quite personally on my behalf. Oh, no, no. It's just... Uncle Dai doesn't know what he's talking about. Paimon just wants to enlighten him. <laughs> I see. Well, then, it will be my pleasure to accompany you. Really? But I should inform you that despite my expertise, I cannot necessarily claim to be a leading authority. We are at all times adrift in a sea of learning. New knowledge should be welcomed with open arms. Still, I imagine I will be of help to you in this endeavor. If we do encounter an expert, I look forward to broadening my own understandings. Ugh. Stop being so modest, Yang Li. Well, we got him. Let's head back to Uncle Dai. How could he Precious not be curious. the most experienced person with rocks? He drops like one from space on people's heads. He just, he know he's like the dog whisper. He just calls it and the rock comes to him. It's like, here, Rocky, here, Rocky. Just, I will have order. Smash. Uncle Dai, we're back! Oh, and uh, this must be the friend you spoke of? Yep, Hyman doesn't know who your rock expert is, but he's got nothing on our guy. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, I do have a claim to some experience in this field. Uh-huh, so you say. Wait till my guy gets here, then we'll see. It's no use me singing his praises. You'll have to see for yourselves. Uh, is this the place? Aha! Speak of the devil. Allow me to introduce my assistant, Kun Jun. Young Kun, these are two adventurers assigned to us. And as for this gentleman... Uh, Young Kun. Huh? Uh... Uh, this is Zhang Li, a consultant from the funeral. He's a consultant. That's his job. Consultant. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's consultant. Mr. Zhang Li, I've heard about you. They say you're a man of great knowledge and many talents. I had no idea I'd be meeting you in person today. I, I'm sure I recognize you. Have we met at the parlor? Wait, I've never been to the parlor. Uncle Dai, aren't you gonna test them? Huh? I, I wouldn't know where to start. Then they can figure out a way to test each other. If Zhang Li wins, he's the assistant. If Zhang Li loses, uh, never mind. Zhang Li won't lose. A contest? Why, it would be my pleasure. I admire your enthusiasm, good sir. <laughs> I must say, you certainly have the look of an industry expert about you. It'll be interesting to see which one of us wins. Stop talking the talk and start walking the walk. I'm just saying it like I see it, <laughs> which is, incidentally, the only skill I have worth talking about. So you're an appraiser, Mr. Kunjun. Well, no. Actually, I've already forgotten what I'm in Liyue Harbor for. I was standing by the side of the road one day when Uncle Dai called me over. He saw me holding a rock and asked me a few questions. He seemed incredibly excited, even followed me for a while. We arranged to meet here. I saw him on my way over to Liyue Harbor, poring over rocks and muttering to himself. He looked to be very familiar with them. I asked him a few questions out of curiosity. To my surprise, he knew more than me, an old mining foreman. In any case, he didn't have any pressing matters and agreed to help me. So, do you have a poor memory? 
Not like exactly. Me. Anyway, if it's rocks you need help with, I can most certainly lend a hand. Mr. Zhongli, what do you make of this rock? Hmm. A glossy exterior, with a fissure that could only have been left in the wake of a volcanic eruption. If I'm not mistaken, this is a rough gem from another nation. Ah, a keen eye. It's no ordinary rough gem. Fragile surface layer, black veining. My intuition tells me that there's high-quality crystal ore inside. Remarkable! This rock does indeed hail from the vicinity of a volcano. I came across it in a market and snapped it straight up. The seller thought it was some leftover industrial remnant. They had no inkling of the treasure that lay within. What makes this one so Purity funny? and geological rarity alone aren't enough to make a treasure. Some of the most precious crystals contain deposits of water or sand. In the moment of its formation, the crystal hidden within this stone shell captured a pocket of water. For water to be hidden in its depths, like a moon concealed within a mountain, reflecting shafts of daylight that make it through. Now that's a rare treasure. Such a detailed description. Almost like he saw it with his own two eyes. Say, you're not trying to hoodwink us, are you? After all, we haven't even seen what's inside yet. Everything he said is true. Most crystals are born in high temperature environments. Heat and water aren't natural bedfellows, of course, which is why crystals with water deposits are so sought after. Moreover, this particular crystal contains mountain lake water. A rare find indeed. Well, if Shanley said so, it must be true. I've yet to encounter anyone with a judgment as shrewd as yours, Mr. Zhongli. How did you know exactly what lay within? I've seen many such stones in my time. I recognized it immediately. I hope you didn't mind me flaunting my experience, Mr. Kunjun. Of course not! I feel I've met a kindred spirit here today. I hope you will accept my friendship. Uncle Dai, it would be a mistake for Mr. Zhongli not to join us. Trust me when I say that his level of expertise is unrivaled in the trade. You won't come across another of his caliber in your lifetime. Very well. There is strength in numbers, after all. Everyone, follow me to the chasm. There are men counting on you to find them. So if my commentary is a little stale today, I, my side is in a lot of pain. I just, uh, whew. If I am going to be at the hospital for a couple days, then, uh, then I'd like to actually get some of this recorded. And I don't know if I'll be able to even edit it before, uh, before I head out. So, uh... This will be in the video if, uh, as an apology, sorry I uh, took a break to, uh, from y'all for a little bit. And if it's out earlier, then I guess I'm okay. Whoa, this mine is huge! This is where the incident occurred. Six days ago, a group of us left the site to attend to other matters. When we returned, the four men we'd left behind had vanished. I led a team around the entire mine, but found no trace. That's when I decided to enlist help. So four miners have disappeared. Yes, there were ten of us. We lost Long, Bold Sen, Brave Sen, and Mao. I worked with all of them. Workers in this trade are usually young men in the prime of their lives. Could it be that the four of them left for another mine? <sighs> Unlikely. There's no other lodging for miles around, and we didn't pass any other mines on the way over. Huh. Such a huge mine. Did you really manage to explore every corner? Underground, overground... We left no stone unturned. We tried everything short of digging further into the earth itself. How could four sturdy young men just vanish into the bedrock? We'll need to explore the site ourselves before extracting any conclusions. Very well. I'll wait here. Please, proceed wherever you'd like. If you come across any clues, let me know straight away. So strange. How could the four of them just suddenly disappear? Did they run away from something? Let's look around first and see if we can find any clues. Uh, when you don't have to look around and the clue's right there. Over here! What's this? A pile of 
shirts, some trousers. They're huh. naked. A few everyday items. They must belong to Uncle Dai and his men. One, two, three, four. Huh. That seems right. Ten shirts, ten pairs of trousers. These must be spares, right? Look, Uncle Dai's clothes are identical. The four of them have been gone for six days without a change of clothes. There's also a few handkerchiefs and some soap lying around. Oh, and some tool belts. Items for washing one's face before the dawn shift. Mining equipment. So, they didn't take any supplies. Hmm. Correct. Maybe they forgot them. Improbable. There are four pickaxes missing. It seems likely they left with the tools of their trade. They had time to take their tools, but not their everyday items? Curious. Huh. Why would someone set off with their tools, but leave their luggage behind? One, they were working close by and didn't need to move their personal effects. But seeing as they've yet to return, this seems an unlikely hypothesis. Or two, they were forced to leave and had no time to think about their supplies. Oh. Do you think someone kidnapped them? It's certainly a possibility. We'll need more clues before any further inference can be made. If they didn't leave, maybe they were made to leave. Let's make a note and let Uncle Dai know. Were they somehow mind-controlled by the dragon stuck in the tree uh, to help break him out of his underground prison? Because I know that that tree is, like, somewhere down there, I think. We'll find it soon enough. Judgment! Uh, wait, what are we looking for? Oh, more clues. I thought we were going to talk to someone. Oh, right on time. Did you find anything? There's a chunk of ore here. Perhaps there are clues within. Or what does it have to do with the disappearance? Let's find out. I'll give it a try. A moment, please. <sighs> okay. Oh my god, they were all twins? <laughs> Plot twist! <laughs> hmm. Looks like he's concentrating really hard. What's he up to? I see... Four men... Following someone out of the mine. It... It looks like a child. A child? What's a child doing in a mine? I'm not well, it sure. is a miner. Also, how did you see anything exactly? Oh, I don't mean see in the traditional sense. I, I, I would appreciate it if what I'm about to tell you remained a secret. It's a little odd. I've never dared to tell anyone before. I can perceive the memories of ore. An oracle? Perceive? So there's no conjecture at work? You mean you can put your hand on a rock and boom, it just happens? I've always sensed that ore contains memories. Sometimes it records events that occur in the surrounding area. All I have to do is touch one and focus my attention, and the memories come to me. Amazing! So you can find out everything that ever happened there! It depends on the ore. Some ores have astounding memories. Others, like iron ore and white iron ore, aren't up to much. Their memories are hazy. Core lapis and crystal memories are much stronger. They record more events and in greater detail. Stone seeing. <laughs> Fascinating. A rare ability indeed. It was prudent of Uncle Dai to recruit you, Mr. Kunjun. <laughs> I'm glad I can be of assistance. Based on what I saw, I believe they followed this path. This will take us north, away from the mine. North? 
Another clue for Uncle Die. Let's make a note of it. Uh, yo, bravo. Excuse me, sir. Are you one of the workers here? Ah, yes, yes. You must be here about the disappearance. Please find them if you can. I, I don't know what happened. The weather was gloomy that day. The foreman left with a few men. I stayed behind with the other four. After a while, I decided to take a break, just to catch my breath. I ended up falling asleep in the shelter inside. Bravo. When I woke up, there was no sight of them. I'd only just been speaking with them, and suddenly, they'd vanished. Maybe, maybe I'm next. So the men that were out working disappeared, with the only one left to tell the tale having been asleep in a shelter. Perhaps an accident occurred on sight. Excellent. We should note that down too. We found some clues. Dang, Time to who wet the mine? Who had the accident? Your miners peed and then they disappeared. You're back. How are the That's investigations the going? We found three clues in the vicinity. First, there are four missing pickaxes, yet everyday items are still in their place. This suggests that your men didn't leave of their own accord, but were forced to. Forced to? But who would kidnap miners? Who oh, indeed. Second, there were five workers at the mine. One of them left the site to take respite. When he awoke, his colleagues had disappeared without a trace. Those who kept working all disappeared. The one who left early emerged safe and sound. It would appear that the incident occurred on site. Now that you mention it, I recall Bravo saying that he took a break. Could someone have entered the site and simply walked away with them? This leads me to my third point. Mr. Kun Jun here made good use of his uh, expert techniques to arrive at a conclusion. It was a child that took your men away. <laughs> a child? But there are no settlements here for miles around. There's no way a child would have made it over to the mine. Unlikely as it sounds, that's our conclusion. Your men were following a child. Where did they go? We believe that they followed the road north, away from the mine and toward the ruins. North? Right. I'll rally my men and head in pursuit. Do you need help? You've been invaluable to the investigation, but leave the legwork to us. If we set off now and make haste, we might be able to catch him. Not so fast. Like the incident occurred six days ago. Even if they set out on foot, they will have covered a lot of ground by now. <sighs> You're right. New plan. I'll lead my search party over to the settlements further out and make some inquiries. There are only a few settlements around here with lodging for the night. We'll go investigate and see if we can come up with anything. In the meantime, you could keep looking for clues. If we don't see each other, let's reconvene at Wang Shu Win tomorrow evening. Agreed. All right, me and my men will get going. Do you know the child, John? So, they're gonna talk to the people over at the settlements while we keep investigating here. Correct. But there aren't any more clues at the mine. Shouldn't we go north? Wait. I believe we're missing someone. Huh? Paimon on Betsy's still investigating. Let's go find him. You're very cooning junior. Hello. Kunjun, what are you searching for? We're all out of clues. Let's keep going. Ah, apologies. I'm conducting a quick search for my own benefit. I'm looking for a precious stone known as Dragonfall. Dragonfall? Never heard of it. Dragonfall is often used in forging. What use do you have for it? I... I don't know. I... I'm sorry. I, I don't recall why I'm seeking it. I've been feeling very... absent lately. Name and address aside, I'm having trouble remembering things. In fact, I've been feeling extremely anxious, as if there's something I've forgotten to finish. It's an unpleasant sensation. Oh, 
Paimon knows that feeling when you know you've forgotten something, but you can't remember exactly what it is. <sighs> I don't even know where to start with it. I've been aimlessly wandering. That day at the market, I overheard a conversation while I was buying something. They mentioned Dragonfall. It sounded so familiar to me, as if whatever it was I had to do was linked to that stone. So, I decided to look for some. Perhaps if I can retrieve some, I'll remember what it is I have to do. I see. If I am able to during our endeavor, I will help you look for this stone. Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Shang Li. You're too kind. Think nothing of it. Shouldn't we get going? Heading north from the chasm will reach Lingju Pass. If this is indeed the path they chose, there will be traces. Great! Let's have a look! <laughs> 